So we are gonna incorporate a lot of bar sequencing in this video today, as well as some floor Pilates work too. So just in some comfy clothes and no equipment is required, we are good to get started. So I'm gonna invite you to come to the top of the mat with the length of the mat behind you. We're gonna bring our feet to hip distance apart first. So make sure the feet are grounded, the knees are nice and soft, and the arms are rested by the sides. We're going to begin with a Pilates roll down, starting with the head. So take a big in breath, maybe lift the eye line slightly, and then exhale, chin to the chest, round the shoulders, draw the belly to the spine. Bend the knees as you start to fold yourself down towards the ground. So lift the hips high, arms and head fall heavy towards the mat take a beautiful breath here at the bottom and then exhale as you ground down through the feet rebuild the spine rebuild every vertebrae and then roll the shoulders down the back as you lift the head on top last let's do that again inhale take the eye line up slightly exhale chin to the chest carve the body sigh it out as you let the body fold all the way over opening up all of that space through the back of the body here and then make sure you ground down through the feet, rebuild, restack, reset, and peel yourself all the way up to standing. Let's bring the fingertips naturally together with a curve through the arms and then sweep the arms up through to a fifth position as the arms come overhead, but they're slightly in front, so slightly in front of the eye gaze. Soften the shoulders down the back and then carefully bring the heels together, turn the toes out. We're in our first position. So ground down, squeeze the glutes and lift and lengthen through the spine. Let's slowly take a plie here, bending the knees, ground down through the heels, and then rise tall as you lengthen through the legs. Here we go. Inhale, lower, and exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. So our plie here, the knees are making a diamond shape, tracking in line with the toes. We're not releasing the heels. We're not sticking the bottom out. We're finding that length through the spine and keeping those arms in that fifth position. We're going to do this twice more. Really pull up those thighs as you stand. One more time here. And then we're going to slowly shift our weight into the right foot as you extend the left leg behind you just onto the ball of the foot. So keep those hips square to the front. We're then going to lift the left leg off the mat. Find a little balance here. Bend both knees as you gently tap the right calf with the left foot and then extend as you open back up. Here we go. I bend both knees, left foot taps, right calf, extend and open. Arms are staying in fifth, a natural curve through the elbows. We're finding our balance as we activate through the core, draw the belly to the spine. Eye line is gazing through to something in front of you to help you with your balance. You're extending through both legs and then bending through both legs at the same time here. Let's try this twice more. Last two. Slow and steady. One more time, last one. And then we're going to slowly step the left foot back onto the ground as you turn the right foot to face forwards. Lengthen and lift the arms so the hands are now over the shoulders. We're going to take a little lunge here. So just bending both knees at the same time, left knees coming down to the ground. As you straighten the legs, sweep the arms behind you, palms of the hands face back. Here we go. So bending both knees, coming down, not forwards, and then straightening both legs as you take the arms back. So lifting and lengthening as you ground down into the legs, and then straightening the legs as you open through the chest, take the palms of the hands back. Slow and steady. Inhale as we lower. Exhale as we sweep and lengthen. One more time here. Inhaling as we come down and exhaling as we press away and stand. Now we're gonna bring those arms all the way back up to that fifth position. Shift the weight back into the right foot as you turn out through the right leg and gently lift the left again. So where we were a moment ago. Now we're gonna open up to arabesque. Right arm comes forwards, left arm sweeps back with the left leg and a little pulse here with the left leg. So I'm going up, and up, sweeping the left leg, pulsing, softening through the right. We go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it in, step both feet into hip distance apart, roll the shoulders down the back, and let's 
start again. Inhale, lift the eye line. Exhale, chin to the chest, round the shoulders. Start to curve the body forwards. Roll yourself down, bringing your body a little bit closer towards the legs this time. And then rebuild, restack as you peel your belly in. Roll yourself all the way up. Roll the shoulders down the back. And again, inhale, lift the eye line. Exhale, sigh it out, chin to the chest, round the shoulders, curve the body, let the arms just draw all the way down towards the ground, lift the tailbone high, and then peel yourself all the way up, strong through the legs, the heels come together for first, the fingertips come together, and we sweep all the way through the arms up to fifth. Here we go, we plie down, and we extend. So we're back to our plie squats now, okay? So we're bending those knees. They're going in line with the toes. Soften the shoulders away from the ears. Make sure the arms are in that little circular shape here. Fingertips are gently together. And we are not releasing those heels. We're squeezing the bottom as we press the hips forwards at the top. We've got two more here, last two. Remember to engage through the belly, support the lower back. Last one. Pause at the top. The weight goes into the left leg as we sweep the right leg back. Once you're stable, lift that right leg off the ground. We bend both knees. Right foot touch, touches. I was going to say touches and taps at the same time. Touches the left calf and then we extend and pause. So bending both knees. They're turning out. We're getting that turn out through the hips. Arms are staying in fifth, starting to feel a little bit of heat through the shoulders maybe. Finding that control, not letting the right foot tap the floor at any point if you can stay there in that balance. Obviously, if you need to tap down, that is absolutely fine. We're moving slow, gentle. One more time here, last one. Then we're going to step the right foot all the way back, turn the left foot to parallel, and then lengthen the arms, open up through the chest. Our lunges, we're going to bend both knees, right knee to the ground. As we straighten the legs, sweep the arms behind, open the chest. You got this? Here we go. So we're going down with the legs, up with the arms, and then up with the legs, down with the arms. Lengthening through the spine, keeping that space through the vertebrae. So there's a lot of cross lines there with the bar and with the Pilates. So we're always thinking about that length, that broomstick up the back, the crown of the head coming all the way up to the ceiling and the tailbone coming down towards the ground. Loading into those legs. Let's do this one more time. Last one. And then once we are lengthened with the legs, we shift our weight forwards. The arms come up to fifth. Turn out through the left foot as you lift the right leg up. And then we open to arabesque. The left arm goes forwards. The right arm goes back. Pulse the right leg up and up. So you can see my eye gaze is forwards, helping me balance here for this section. Make sure you're not collapsing through the chest for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly down. Once you are down, we're going to turn now to face side on to the long side of our mat, but you can see that I'm at one end of the mat here. I'm going to turn out the feet to find first position, and then extend the right leg away. My toe is on the floor, the heel is not, and the arms are coming forwards, and then I'm going to open them up to fourth. So the right arm comes out to the side with the leg, and the left arm lifts up to fifth. Find that balance, soften into the underneath leg. We're going to lift and lower. The right leg goes up and down. So you can see that that right leg is in a turnout, which means my knee is pointing up to the ceiling rather than facing towards you. So my right knee is turning up towards the ceiling. In order to get that turnout from the hip, I have to activate through the glutes, roll it down and back and make sure we're not collapsing through the left side body. I'm going to do three more for three, slow for two, and then for one. Now I'm going to step that right foot behind onto a diagonal. So I'm in a curtsy lunge prep. I'm gonna bend both knees. My left hand is coming down towards the ground and then a sweep back up to fifth. So I'm bending both knees as my arm comes down. I sweep forwards and come all the way up. So your left knee is following the same path as your left toes. Your right heel is lifted off the floor at the back and you're guiding that right knee down towards the ground as you sweep the arm forwards, long ways all the way up. 
So you're always trying to take the fingertips as far away from the torso as you can. Twice more here, slowly down. Sweep it all the way up. One more time, last one. Beautiful, step it open to second. Take the right leg out to the side, heels in, toes out, arms are in second position, soften through the elbows. We're gonna bend into a wide plie and then stand as the arms come up to fifth. So we open out to our wide plie, arms to second, press away as we come to fifth, squeeze the glutes. So bend, extend and sweep. Bend and plie, extend and sweep. Let's come down to our plie and hold, see if you can hold there. Arms do a port de bras, they come through center, up through the middle to fifth, and then blossom out to second. We stay in our wide second plie, load into those legs, float the arms, try and move the arms with the breath, keeping the spine long. Remember that broomstick, up and open. <sighs> One more time, all the way through up to fifth and hold, transfer your weight to your right leg, lift, 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 and then open the left arm out to second, so we're in fourth. The left leg's gonna lift and lower, lift and lower. So that left knee is facing up towards the ceiling, try and turn out the hip. Don't lock into the right knee and try not to collapse through the right side body. Shoulders are soft, elbows are soft, even though your arms might be burning. Scoop and hollow the belly, sweep and lift. We've got four more, so four. Pull up through that thigh for three, for two, and for one. We step the left foot behind onto the diagonal. The heel is lifted, bend into both. Curtsy lunge as you sweep the right arm forwards, all the way up, pull up, squeeze the bum, through fifth. So I'm bending, lowering down, all the way up through the middle and lift. Try to go down, not forwards, trying to get that back knee to hover just off the mat. Front knee is following the path of the line of the toes. Slow and steady, keep that turn out so those knees are still going in a diamond shape. They are not going towards each other, not at this point. The left arm is still lifted. One more time here, last one. Down and through, good. Stepping back out to second, heels in, soften the shoulders. Here we go, so we're gonna bend, and then as we extend, lift into fifth, squeeze the glutes, open up, and stand. Open up, and lift, that lift, that space. Floating the arms through the space around you, grounding down through center, keeping the shoulders stacked over the hips, then we come down into our second plie and hold for our port de bras. Arms come through the middle, up to fifth, go slow. Try not to rush those arms gently through center. Up to fifth, blossom out to second. So one more time, come through, all the way up. Open out, now straighten the legs, toe heel those feet in towards each other. Feet are parallel as you lift up to the ceiling. Now roll down, lead of the arms, chin to the chest, sigh out, carve the body. Fold yourself all the way down here. <sighs> Big sigh out, let it go, shake out the head, the shoulders. Generously bending your knees, coming all the way down onto your knees, sitting onto your heels. Take a moment here, just roll the shoulders down the back. Take a moment to reset, to breathe. From here, we're gonna use our right arm. I'm gonna place the right hand down onto the mat as we take a little side bend. So open up through the side body and pressing the left hip away. So really focusing on opening through the chest. Now I'm gonna float, the left hand's gonna come down towards the ground. As I then lift the left arm, I'm gonna extend the left leg and lift the hips. Everything comes down into that little side bend and then everything opens up and we extend. So you're bringing everything down, bottom to heels, and then you're sweeping arm and leg up to the ceiling. Everything comes down, bottom to heels, hands to the ground, and then sweep and open. Let's do this one more time, bring it down. Sweep it all the way up, pause there, just hold for five, four, three, two, 
and one bring everything back down to center let's take that left arm over gorgeous side bend with the right press the right hip away breathe into the right rib cage and then float the right hand down get yourself set up and then we lift right arm and right leg bring it back down through to center we sweep up press the hips forwards arm and leg so strong for the hips, the glutes, the shoulders, the side body. Taking your time, hitting every pose, feeling every movement, going with the breath, feeling strong, feeling grounded. On our next one, we lift and hold. So find that pause, hold it there for five, four, three, two, and one slowly coming all the way down make your way onto your bottoms when you're ready take a moment reset yourself here feet grounded slowly taking a moment to roll the shoulders down the back and then tuck the tailbone under so you're active through the belly ready for a v-sit uh, inhale sweep both arms both legs up and then exhale as we reset them down again i inhale both arms both legs to v-sit and then slowly control them down the whole time, scooping and hollowing the belly, making sure we're not collapsing through the back. We're open through the chest and we're lengthening all the way to the fingers and the toes. Last one. Ground down through the feet. Inhale, reach up with the arms. Gorgeous circle here as you bring the hands all the way down to the ground and then lower yourself all the way down onto your forearms as the feet slide in towards you. Make sure the chest is lifted and then we start to extend the legs up towards the ceiling, lower them down towards the ground and then bend the knees, slide it in and we go again. Extend the legs up. Lower the legs away, sweep down, tap the floor as we come all the way in. We're pressing away from the forearms, open through the chest, scoop and hollow the belly, and we're moving with the breath through the legs, slow, gentle, active through the tummy here. Taking time to strengthen, stabilize the shoulders as well. Let's do this one more time, last one. So we put all the way in and then let's bend those knees, bring it all the way down towards the ground and then carefully use your hands to make yourself, make your way all the way down onto your back. And once you get there, let the head rest on the ground. Let's hug both knees in towards the chest. Take a moment here to press the back into the ground to invite the shoulder blades together taking a gorgeous breath in through the nose, breathing out through the mouth. And then we'll take the legs to tabletop as the hands come behind the heads. From here, we're going to take an abdominal crunch as we extend one leg up, one leg to hover. And then we bend the legs to tabletop as the head comes onto the mat and alternate doing the other side. So we're coming to a scissor as we find our abdominal crunch. So we're extending one leg up, one leg away as we crunch in, controlling as we go down. So a little bit of work for the abdominals here where we're combining the dancers' movements and the Pilates movements together, getting a really nice core workout as well as a gorgeous stretch at the same time. Let's do this twice more if you can. Exhale as you crunch and scissor splits. Inhale as you reset. One more time. Exhale, crunch, scissor splits. And inhale as you reset. Let's pop the head down. Hug those knees in towards the chest. Once again, pressing your back into the mat. And then slowly roll yourself all the way up to seated. Take your time. And when you get there, come and join me in a seated pose. We're going to find a straddle, so a nice wide leg stance here. Make sure we're on our sit bones. We're not rolling backwards and the legs are long, knees are rotated. So the hips are in turnout and the knees are facing towards the ceiling. Let's take a little flow. I'm going to take a side bend, sweeping up and over and then coming through center, sweep across the ground as you then open up into your side bend on the other side. Here we go. So I bring the chest through center, sweep across, pause as I find a side bend here. 
sweep through center and take it the other way. So staying grounded on both bottom cheeks, staying in turn out through the hips. And as you come into that side bend, really try and peel that arm back, press the chest through so that you're opening up through the rib cage here. Slow, gentle, moving with the breath, opening up through those inner thighs, through the hips. Last one here. And then peel yourself all the way up to seated. Maybe support those legs, bending them, bringing them into a cross-legged seated pose. And again, taking that beautiful side bend. This time, taking your windmill up and over. Big lift as we change sides. So we're floating into our side bends, maybe lowering the forearm if that's available for you. Making sure we're keeping the bottom grounded, keeping the knees open. And we're breathing into this movement. We're breathing into the body. And we're taking a moment to feel the space around and the space within. One last time. Carefully make your way back through to center. Take a gorgeous inhale. Bring the arms all the way up. And exhale as you bring the arms down. That was your dancers Pilates workout there. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know how you found it and I'll see you on the mat again very soon.